Although the messenger didn't exist in 1940 during the Battle of Britain, it was nevertheless a British World War II design, and as such was relevant for our Battle of Britain movie tribute. Particular features of this aircraft include a relatively large wing area, which provides the capability for very low takeoff and landing speeds. The large flaps allow steep descent angles, while the unusual triple fins ensure good directional control at low air speeds. The large cockpit windows provide a good view for observers, while the doors provide easy access for all occupants, especially those wearing parachutes. Constructed by George Miles as a private project, the Type first flew in 1942 and was designed as a liaison and air observation post aircraft with the capability to operate from small and rough fields in most weathers. Powered by a 140 horsepower de Havilland Gypsy Major engine, the wing incorporated fixed aerofoil trailing edge flaps which were found to provide the necessary short takeoff and landing performance. While the design was successful, the Ministry of Aircraft Production wasn't happy that the type had been produced without appropriate authorization, and only 21 messengers were initially built for the British Army. During the war, the type was mainly used as a VIP transport aircraft, with Field Marshal Sir Bernard Montgomery and Air Marshal of the RAF Lord Tedder being two of the more prominent operators of the type. After 1945, another 71 civilian models of the Messenger were produced, with more than half a dozen of these ending up in Australia. This aircraft was imported into New Zealand from Australia in 2004. In another link between Classic Fighters 2007 and the motion picture industry, a Messenger featured in a brief cameo role in the 1964 movie 633 Squadron. <laughs> 